Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this is an update to see how the primroses I grew from seed last year have done. Well finally it looks like spring is here. It's the 14th of March today, just a few days before St Patrick's Day. This here is what I call my long border. And if you had to weed and mulch it in spring, you'd know exactly why it's called the log border. Anyway, this year I've mulched with horse manure, well rotted horse manure. It has no scent and it's so good for the border, it's known as gardener's gold. Over the other side of the long border, here are the primroses. And let's get in there before pussy eats them. <laughs> okay, now you may recall that I bought two packets of primroses from Barnhaven Seeds in France. And um, that was, I got them as a Christmas present actually, the Christmas before last. So that was Christmas 2014. And I sowed the seeds the day after Christmas. They germinated the 13th of March. So it's pretty much exactly a year after that germination date. And you can see that I already have substantial plants. I got two packets of seeds and the first was a mystery pack. So just a mix of whatever I suppose fell on the seed floor in the in the nursery and these plants are a result of, of, of what I got from that packet. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 plants in. and we can see that the colours range from red, lots of reds for some reason, there's another red, to yellow, yet to open and over here there's a definite purple emerging. Another red here, a yellow here, and some that haven't yet given any evidence of what colour they're going to be. However, on this side of the tray, you can see the enthusiasts mix. Now, I was quite excited about this packet of seeds because it promised to yield a high proportion of odd little primroses. And by that, what I mean is the jack in the green type, the hose and hose type, which is kind of like one flower coming out of the centre of another, the Jack and Apes type, which has a striped ca uh, calyx, and the Galley Gaskins, which has large ribbed calyx. In total, I got seven plants from that seed, uh, that seed mix, and here they are. And we can only see for two of them what I've actually got. And the first is this pinky one here, a diabolical colour. I really don't like that, but it's not any of those interesting type of primrose that. Uh, that I mentioned before. But this one next to it is much more promising. And you see it's got a red little flower, but if we look at the outside there, you can see that the, um, almost like leaves coming up the side of it. And that I understand is a jack in, in the pulpit type of primrose. So I did get at least one from that packet. And in front of it, this one here, which isn't yet open, it, it's look promise, it looks promising. That also looks like a jacket in the pulpit style there. Now these seeds were um, sown outdoors and um, they germinated in my cold frame. And I'm going to put a link up above to a video I made about, well, really about cold seeds and growing them. There really is little as exciting as growing something from seed yourself, you know, to sow the seed, to watch it germinate and then to see what colours you get. Because like when you grow things from seed, there's such variation that, you know, you never know what gem might pop up there. So I think we're going to have to pop back again at a later stage to see what those final um, primroses look like when they do open. Anyway, that's all for now. Hope you like this video and if so, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.